it's different than every 360 that's out there. You know, I feel like, I mean, there's some great 360s out there. We've been doing 360s since 2018, I want to say. I can't overly remember exactly. When did, when did they come out? Like, when did 360s become a thing? So they've actually been around for a really long time. Really? Like, a really, really long time. So by the time we were doing them, they had already been around for, like, five or six years. But no. I know. Wow. Well, because the only people who did them before were like cinematic experience companies, right? Like we're talking, you know, people like Ohm Digital, who probably anyone listening to this podcast has never heard of before, (laughs) but they're like OG essential photo booth companies, but they don't call themselves photo booth companies, right? They're like video experience, blah, blah, blah. You see them on the red carpet. You see yeah. them at like a lot of these, like the Met Gala. They're usually there doing something. If you go to their website, it's all like celebrities, you know, like yeah, they're yeah. next level. They're not even in our realm. Wow. <laughs> so they've been doing it for years and years before that. Um, but they did it like, essentially you put a camera on there, you recorded, you took out the SD card, you put it in some video editing software, you know. I'm sure they had some sort of automations, maybe through like, you know, TV magic screens (laughs) and stuff like that. But that's how they did it. So 360s were not new by the time they came out. And, you know, when we got ours, like we were like the only people in like Canada, I want to say that were doing them. No, that's not true. I'm sure there was a couple of other people, but like no one was actively doing them like we did. Mm. So when we started offering them and we've always charged over three thousand dollars for three hours like we're currently at thirty eight fifty for three hours um but we were like insanely booked with 360s when we introduced it wow. we ended up having to get our second one and then our third one and now i have like five i think and it's oh definitely God. slowed down a bit but that's just been kind of it's gone with the market you know mm-hmm. but then like what three years ago we had the boom of the 360 i want to say and oh yeah i feel like they were everywhere everyone is asking for them yeah yeah and now there's so many suppliers and like you know the the one thing that has been driving me crazy is like all these manufacturers from china that are now hitting up all the facebook groups and like literally (laughs) dming me it is so annoying like i don't i don't know your product right this is my caution to everyone who's like oh but it's so cheap you don't get support Mm -hmm. good luck returning it if something happens it can get seized on its way over here a lot of them will actually ship it via like boat yeah i've been waiting six months (laughs) probably more than that for something that i ordered from china that came on a boat that was in a container filled with counterfeit stuff and because my thing (sighs) was in there it's been seized by customs and I'm waiting to get my legal thing out of this container filled with illegal stuff. So like, Oh my gosh, you know, there's a price you pay for cheap. So that just drives me crazy. Anyways, I'm going on a tangent at this point. (laughs) Back to tortilla. So when tortilla was in development, you know, photo booth supply co and I were talking a lot about the frustrations of some of the other photo booths. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, a lot of them are like, utilitarian looking mm-hmm. if, you know for lack of a better they're they're sturdy and strong and but there was nothing that was like aesthetic you know yeah nothing that you were like wow that's a beautiful 360 and photo booth supply goes known for doing that right mm-hmm. they're known for taking something and making it beautiful and just making it stand out and that's what they've done with tortilla absolutely it's so portable like you can the the little case that it comes in just rolls right out it's so fun (laughs) that's so cool and i think that was my biggest hesitation because obviously like everyone was asking for 360s and i was like no 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 i'm one person and i do a lot of the events myself now that i have a team it's a little bit different but um it is it was something of a concern i was like i can't pick up this 70 pound 360 and put it in my car like there's no way so that's why it was never an option but now the tortilla is here it is much more of a an accessible product to be able to use so i can't wait to get my hands on it and test it out myself and see exactly how portable it is yeah and brandon the ceo of photo booth supply was adamant with the engineers and designers that it had to fit in the back of a sedan. Like, I'm not kidding you, the parameters were that if it didn't fit between the back seat and the console, it didn't pass. So 
that's, you know, the entire time he was thinking, how can we make this the most portable thing ever? And so that's what is really great about it. You can sit, like put it in the backseat of your car or you can throw it into your trunk. Like I drive a Jeep and I can just like kind of, it falls over and then you just push it in and you're good to go, you know, that's or amazing. you can throw it in the backseat of your car. So yeah, it's, um, it's really, really portable, which is really nice. But the, the carrying case too is like super functional. You have every, you can put everything in it. Your oh, camera, your iPad. Yeah. The arm goes in there. It all rolls in really nicely. It's padded and protected. Like I, in terms of like bags for 360s, by far the best one I've ever seen in terms of like utility of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. That's awesome. And then of course it's white. Mm-hmm. So it's so different. It's so beautiful compared to all the other like photo booths out there. It just, again, has that photo booth supply co look to it that lets you stand out from everyone else. So it's really great that um, it's finally available. I know a lot of people got to see it last year in Vegas and they were really excited about it. Uh, and it's finally going to be available out in the wild. So are you going to get one now? <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. Are you kidding? <laughs> I can't wait. And I, I love that it's all going to be like it's going to look like a complete suite of products, right? It's all going to look the same. You're going to be able to tell like it looks comes from the same place. So I love that. And aesthetic is so important. I know it just, it makes such a huge difference for me. Like my business, when I started it 10 years ago, (laughs) (laughs) that's amazing. (laughs) I can't believe that now that it's been 10 years. Right. But that's what set us apart is that there was no companies in our area that had an aesthetic look. They were all like the bulky box Mm-hmm. you know, photo booths, low quality. Um, they didn't tape down their cords. Like there's one photo booth company that still uses the same thing and they just like plop led lights. Like they're not even attached to the booth. They just like put them on top of it and stuff. And that's their lighting. And I'm wow. like, wow. Oh, no. oh, no. <laughs> so like the aesthetic part is what really set us apart and allowed mm-hmm. us to charge double from what everyone else had. Obviously the, the quality of our photos played a big part in that as well. But the equipment we were using allowed us to do that, right? Yeah. It just allowed us to stand out from the crowd and and really provide an elevated experience. And there's a whole other market available to that. A lot of people are like, I can't charge that. It's like, no, you can. You're just targeting the wrong people. That's what Mm -hmm. you need to target the right people who are going to pay you those prices. 